And then the matching idea to that of artificial intelligence with the Hutter Prize, you know, I'm torn. I go back and forth on what I think about it. Yeah. But the 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 basic thesis is it's nice. It's a nice compelling notion that we can reduce the task of creating an intelligent system, a generally intelligent system, into the task of compression. Mm -hmm. So you you can think of all of intelligence in the universe, in fact, as as a kind of compression. Do you find that a, was that just at the time you found that as a compelling idea, or do you still find that a, a compelling idea? I still find that a compelling idea. Um, I think that it's not that useful day to day, but actually, um, one of maybe my quests before that was a search for the definition of the word intelligence, and I never had one. And I definitely have a definition of the word compression. It's a very uh, simple, uh, straightforward one. And uh, you know what compression is? You know what lossless is? Lossless compression, not lossy. Lossless compression, and that that is equivalent to intelligence, which I believe. I'm not sure how useful that definition is day to day, but like I now have a framework to understand what it is. And he just 10x the the uh, the prize for that competition like recently a few months ago. You ever thought of taking a crack at that? Oh, I, just... oh, I did. Oh, I did. I spent I spent the next after I found the prize. I spent the next six months of my life trying it, and uh, well, that's when I started learning everything about AI, and then. I worked vicarious and, for a bit, and then I learned, read all the deep learning stuff, and I'm like, okay, now I like, I'm caught up to modern AI. Wow! And I had, a, I had a really good framework to put it all in from the compression stuff, right? Like some of the first, uh, some of the first deep learning models I played with were, uh, were, were GPT, GPT basically, but before transformers, before it was still uh, RNNs to to do uh, character prediction. But by the way, on the compression side, I mean the especially with neural networks. What do you make of the lossless requirement with the Hutter Prize? So, you know, human intelligence and and neural networks can probably compress stuff pretty well, but there, it'll be lossy. Mm -hmm. It's imperfect. Uh, you can turn a lossy compressor into a lossless compressor pretty easily using an arithmetic encoder, right? You can take an arithmetic encoder and you can just encode the noise with maximum efficiency, right? So even if you can't predict exactly what the next character is, the better a probability distribution you can put over the next character, you can then use an arithmetic encoder to, uh, right? You don't have to know whether it's an E or an I, you just have to put good probabilities on them and then, you know, code those. And if you have, it's a bits of entropy thing.